So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K19. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Jarrett Cumbrell, Cumbrell, Culver Timberwolves rebuild today. Uh, they ended up making a trade with the Phoenix Suns, sending them, I believe, pick 11 and Dario Saric for pick 6, which ended up being Jarrett Culver. I think they were trying to get Darius Garland. The Cavs did take him at 5, though. So, pretty interesting pick. I think he honestly fits with this team very well. Also, you're going to see real in a second. He does have an apostrophe in this name for some reason. I don't know what the hell it is about the last name Culver. Um, but if you see right here, if I go in to edit his name and I go ahead and just spell Culver like the way it is, C-U-L-V-E-R, I don't see any missed language in here that can't be used. But I guess Culver, for some reason, cannot be used. So it's unfortunate. Um, but, yeah, he's going to have an apostrophe in his name. It might get annoying um, at some point. I'm sorry if it does. There's not much I can do about that. I mean, yeah, so it's just the way it's going to be. Does not Nas Reed was this draft, I believe, as well, out of LSU. Yeah, I thought that he was. So, pretty good pick there. He has got Tyus Battle, I believe, out of Syracuse. Yes, he is. And then, I don't know who Barry Brown is. I'm not going to lie. Kansas State. So, uh, Timberwolves rebuild, obviously. Andrew Wiggins, not the best contract in the NBA. Probably one of the worst. Um, I think he was playing a lot of shooting guard for them. Tall ball, too, for them this year. Culver, obviously, he's going to start um at the shooting guard position for the rest of this video i plan on making him there so wiggins is probably going to get a year in the starting lineup at the small four position i mean he does sometimes do pretty well in this game i've seen him get up to like an 87 that's obviously not really worth this much money let me go over here dude is literally supposed to be like the next kobe and lebron and jordan just somewhere in that realm and just nothing worked out for him so they paid him a lot of money obviously it's just not working out at all so an interesting trade i would actually like to see is see if the Cavs. And the Timberwolves could redo that swap. Like, just do it, like, now. I'm not saying, like, go back and redo it. But, like, if they could do it now. Wiggins is still 24. Might just need a new location. I mean, look how Jimmy Butler did in Minnesota. Dude fucking hated it. And I honestly don't blame him. They've had a pretty shitty front office situation. Carl Anthony Towns was obviously the easy, one of the easiest number one overall picks, like, in recent history. Not really. I feel like every number one overall pick is pretty easy. But... I don't know, man. Um, Derek Rose is going to be a free agent. And he's making a million dollars. So... If I can get a rookie on a rookie, or not even a rookie, just like a second-year, third-year guy, I'm going to do it. He's an 82 overall, and he's going to ask for like 15, 16, 17, somewhere even even close to $20 million this offseason, and I am not paying him that. I'm sure people are not going to like this very much. Ooh, John Collins. Right off the bat to play power forward for us for the rest of the video. That's actually not a bad move at all. Uh, LC Clint Capella. Deontay Murray would be nice. He, only, he is a free agent at the end of this year, though, so it's a similar situation. Obviously, I'd rather pay Deontay Murray, though, but... John Collins is going to have a year after this. We only have to give up Cameron Reynolds, and we actually get Bruno Fernando in return, who actually I think I'm going to send to the G League, and then very well could end up being on this team for our backup center for a long time. So Jeff Teague is honestly going to start a point guard. Culver obviously starting there. I am going to start Wiggins. Um, I'm sure not everybody's going to like it. Collins and Towns is going to be really interesting front court. Obviously, they did move Dario Saric um, in the NBA draft. So we're going to go ahead and just set this rotation. It's pretty much going to be the only trade I made for now. I could send Okogi to the G League, who was picked 20. Um, do I want to do that? Or do I want to send, like, Keita Bates Diop? Or not? I could send Nas Reed, but he actually has a two-way contract, so that's really it. All right, you know what we're actually going to do? We're going to send Josh Okogi to the G League as well. We're going to go ahead and get Nas Reed some minutes. Uh, let me reacclimate these minutes here. We're going to go 30 here. Culver's going to get 34. Wiggins, 33. Collins, 34 as well. 38, honestly, there's fine. We'll go 32. And we'll just give a 34 to Wiggins. So something you guys also told me to do is make the prospect the number one scoring option. I think that's a great idea. That's pretty much the only one I'm going to set. Uh, so I'm going to send Okogi to the G League as well. I'm honestly really happy with how this seems like. I mean, I'm not happy, but I'm pretty comfortable, especially the additions of John Collins, which was pretty easy just for Derrick Rose. So first year is going to be Teague and Culver as our backcourt. Wiggins, John Collins, Carl Anthony Towns rounding out our starting five off the bench. Robert Covington, Gordy Jang, Tyus Jones and Nas Reed. So it should be a pretty interesting year. Excited to see how we can do, and I'll see you guys at the end of the first season. So somehow this team goes 59-23. and 23. That I don't know, um, but hey, I'm, I'm going to take it when this game blesses me. Harden MVP, Zion, Rookie of the Year. Uh, I feel like it's always 22.2 points a game. I don't know. Hassan Whiteside, sixth man. Is he still in Miami? Or, yeah, he is. Giannis, even the player of the year. Nicole Jokic, most improved. Mike D'Antoni, coach of the year. Also, uh, I don't know why this just reminded me of it. I probably will be doing pretty soon. I know I've been doing a lot of prospect rebuilds. I'm probably going to take a break from them for one or two days, uh, which will be basically one or two videos. Probably going to do some other videos. And one of those I do want to do is the winning every award challenge. I think that would be pretty cool to try to do. It's going to be pretty hard, but it would definitely be fun to do. Uh, so we end up third in the West this year. 
Not bad for this team. Cat balled out less in scoring. John Collins put up numbers. Culver as a rookie. He was my number one scoring option. You guys saw it. 19 points per game, though. We'll take it. Wiggins, not bad. Just not quite worth that contract. So, unfortunately, I think we will be moving on from you this offseason. Uh, it's going to be us in Utah here in round number one. Obviously, the addition of Mike Conley probably helped them a lot. I'm not really sure how they're a six seed. In my opinion, they're either going to be a two or a three seed in the Western Conference next year, uh, especially if Kevin Durant is out all year, which would like 95% chance he will be. Uh, and then Clay Thompson either is hurt for the majority of the season or signs elsewhere. So, Okay, also, I'm saying it right now, Steph Curry could be my pick for MVP next year. I think the man could honestly put up like 37 points a game because who else is scoring on that team? I mean, Donkey's not scoring. I mean, if they sign, re-sign Boogie, which I don't think they will, I don't know. I'm really excited for this offseason just to see what all those big free agent signings looks like, just to see the Warriors not do it. Are the Pistons really up 3-2? What? The, okay. I don't know how the Pistons were in the NBA Finals. Did they trade for somebody? Did they sign for somebody? Nope, I just, I, good for them, I guess. Um, all right, let's head up to staff signing at this point. Um, Ryan Saunders, just like, I want to give the guy a chance, son of Flip Saunders, obviously the late, great head coach. I'm going to fire you. I'm going to give Ryan Saunders one more year until I fire him, Randy Martin. All right, I'm going to be pissed. If, in the last video, oh, my God, Trent Peterson's back to a head coach. Well, St. PB, what happened here, man? What happened? I mean, I'm going to give him the contract just because, actually, if I give him the contract, it kind of locks me into him. I didn't mean to do that with Navarro. kind of does lock me into him for a lot of money. Um, I think I'm ultimately going to decline Peterson because it's a, quite a bit of money, and I'm going to take this guy, Ime Udoku. Um, yeah, I'm going to decline Peterson. Uh, I don't, he was an assistant coach. I don't know if you updated that or if this, the game got glitched, but it's your roster, man. If you want, Also, if you don't know whose roster I'm using, it's Lil St. BB, L-I-L-B-B-2, or... L-I-B-B, Saint, 2-1. Um, hopefully, you guys can find that. It shouldn't be very hard. So, we do not have a first-round pick this year. I'm not aware if they have it or not. I'm just going to assume they don't because the game occasionally is right. Sometimes it's wrong. I, I don't know. I guess I'm not going to give them their pick anyways. So, Wiggins is probably going to go at this point. Robert Covington I would like to keep. But, man, if I need that cap space, I'm probably going to go. Actually, you know what? I'll do Trade Finder for Wiggins first. Also, I'm going to be doing a no Trade Finder challenge relatively soon. Um, if I have to keep, or if I can keep Covington uh, with my free agency, I can get the second overall pick for Andrew Wiggins. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Damar is interesting as well. Yusuf Nurkic just doesn't really have a spot on this team. Uh, we're going to take the second overall pick. Atlanta wants to get dumb. I'm going to let Atlanta get dumb. Also, Atlanta Loki probably is the best young core in the NBA. Trey Young, John Collins, Cam Reddish, DeAndre Hunter. Like, absolutely unbelievable, I would say. Uh, Alpha Kaba, don't really see a fit for you on this team, honestly, or really just a spot for you to play. So, if I can get, yeah, just get a couple seconds, sure, for you. Why not? Don't really need you eating up my cap space. So, we do have the second overall pick. It's a very guard-heavy draft. We need one guard, obviously. I need a point guard. Um, so, LaMelo Ball does go first. That could have been somebody we were looking at. Anthony Edwards is here, but so is RJ Hampton, who I kind of do want to take. I feel like if I trade down, though, I don't know. I feel like I'm just risking not being able to get him if I trade down too far. I'm going to look at offers here. Um, I can just get Wiggins right back. Sure, that would be the definition of dumb. I can also get LaMelo Ball. Um, Damar is here. Okay, so I'm not really getting any offers for, like, guys who are on their rookie deals at point guards. I think I'm honestly just going to play it safe and just take RJ Hampton right now. Um, could I theoretically probably get him at, like, pick seven or something? Yeah, most likely, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm fine with it. I don't really need the assets. So, welcome to the team, RJ Hampton. You're going to be a 79 overall. I could go gone, could have gone with Anthony Edwards, but it's not really a position of need, and I don't really want to run um Darius Garland at the small ball three so I'm happy with that Okogi's gonna come back same with Bruno Fernando I'm gonna bring all these guys back and honestly probably trade all of them for picks ba Brown in battle um if you want to get me a first round pick from the Clippers that works very well for me I think we had one more who we were definitely going to probably move as well this is a very young team uh Diop and J Jalen Norrell no Noel um sorry you're going to be traded as well for first round pick and Felicio Felicio will go very very quickly um, oh, not RJ Hampton, uh, Cristiano Felicio, and we will do for you, um, do, 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 first round pick from the Pacers, sure, why not, so, I'm feeling pretty confident about this team at this point, qualifying, Tyus Jones, I could bring back, I'm not gonna give you a ton of money, Jeff Teague's obviously on his way out, he's not coming back, so at the moment, um, we do have, let me just check if this game ever wants to load, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess, so, 
I do want to sign a really good starting small forward. Um, I think that would be a great option. Like if Kevin Durant wanted to come here, which he probably won't, but I'm not going to like complain. Oh my God. Okay. I have not signed Kevin Durant in about a year and a half. No, it's a lie, but I have not signed him in an absolute minute. So if Kevin Durant actually wants to come here, then I'm absolutely going to take it. How much cap space do we have? I only have enough for one max deal. Kevin Durant's obviously going to be that max deal. Um, I'm going to renounce the rights on Alpha Kaba. And unfortunately, we're, we are going to have to lose the rights on Tyus Jones. But to get Kevin Durant, I'm not going to be complaining. So, Kevin Durant, welcome to Minnesota. Definitely not one that I saw coming. Um, I am probably going to trade Covington at this point for a backup point guard. Just because I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that Covington's going to, or that K Katie's going to assume the majority of the small forward minutes. So I don't think that would be a bad idea. Covington is you know, also making 12 mil, so I should be able to match it up with a decent contract pretty well to do this. And a top 10 protected pick from the Bulls in 2021. If you want to give me a point guard or a power forward, they're both needs. Kobe White could just mix in a couple of prospects there, but I also don't really love getting prospects from um, Jonathan Isaacs here. I don't really love getting prospects that are already like on a team. You know what I'm kind of trying to say here. Kobe White would be a nice pickup. But I'm actually going to take Serge Ibaka, and I'm going to play him at the power four or the backup power four position. I don't know. I think we need some veterans on this team. Um, Nigel William Goss is just not going to fit on this team at all. So a first round pick from the Bulls is more than acceptable for me. So I believe we do need to sign a backup point guard at this point. If Patrick Beverly is here, I would love it. That's unbelievable defense. We just lost a really good defender in Robert Covington. Pat Beverly is unfortunately not here. I could just bring back Jeff Teague. It's looking like it's going to let me. So, you know what? Why not? Another veteran presence on the team. Uh, we're going to renounce the rights on you. Jeff Teague, you want to come back? You want to come back? Yes, he does. We should be all set. Let me just double check. Um, if this game wants to load again, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll see you guys at the start of year number two of the rotation. So here's what the rotation is going to look like for year number two. RJ Hampton, Jarrett Culver, our backcourt. Kevin Durant, I still can't believe he signed with me. No, this is not going to be a move I do a lot, but... It's not every day I can sign Kevin Durant, so I'm going to take it when I can. John Collins, Carl Anthony Towns rounding out our starting five. Off the bench, we got Serge Ibaka, Jeff Teague, Josh Okogie, and Bruno Fernando. So uh, he actually should get 10 minutes. I need to take one away from somebody in the starting five. Um, I'll go ahead and take a minute away from Collins just because Ibaka is coming off the bench, uh, and he's getting a lot of minutes anyway. So I'm feeling really good about this team. Hopefully can be a top two, three seed in the Western Conference, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season number two. So we end year number two of the record is 65 and 17. Pretty safe to say Kevin Durant did help that a little bit. Russ, MVP in the year. RJ Hampton does win rookie of the year for 16 points, 1.4 rebounds, 7 assists, almost 2 steals. We will get into more player stats in a minute. Deontay Murray, 6 man. Uh, did he sign somewhere new? He's in Sacramento. Backing up to Aaron Fox. Okay. Giannis Stevens, player of the year. Clay Thompson, most improved in Memphis. Ryan Saunders does get coach of the year. So basically what I'm going to do with him, depending on how this playoff run goes, will ultimately decide on if I ended up keeping him or not. I mean, you look at guys like, what the hell's his name? Oh, my God, I'm forgetting his name. Who was the ref? Dwayne Casey, who won coach of the year that got fired. I mean, it, it does happen. Uh, not that this is a realistic rebuild at all. Not that I have to do anything realistic. I could trade Kevin Durant for Draymond Green, and it's it could happen. No, I'm kidding. It never happened. But you know what I mean? He did lead us in scoring, though. Then it was Cat, Jared Culver, John Collins, RJ Hampton, Abaka. Um, pretty good year from this team. Uh, 23 points was our leading scorer, but hey, if we end up doing really well in the playoffs, I will not be complaining about who scores the basketball. So we're up 2 0 well quickly on Utah. I believe they did end up beating us in the first round last year. Like to get a little bit of a revenge series. Obviously, it was a pretty productive offseason. So we should be able to do that, and we end up getting by them in five. Us in Oklahoma City here in the Western Conference semis, Houston, New Orleans. At the bottom, young core making a playoff run. It should be pretty interesting. We end up getting by Oklahoma City in five games. It's going to be us in Houston, West Finals, Boston, and Milwaukee over there in the East. So I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, James Harden's obviously going to do really well. Culver just has to stop, and that's pretty much it. And we end up sweeping them. Us in the Celtics, NBA Finals. Let's check out their team, see who they do have. Um, Kyrie probably did resign. Yes, he did. Um, yeah, that's it's pretty good though. I'm feed me those Kemba to Boston rumors. I want it so bad, man. Uh, I'm honestly itching for Kemba to come to Boston. I would love it. Uh, we are at three on them though. Let's head back to this rebuild. If we're close and if we're winning, I'll hop in and get some gameplay. And we're gonna be blowing them out. And I'll see you guys in the game. So we're obviously up by. I, is that 40 points? Math is not my strong suit. Again, most of you are very well aware of that. Uh, I do want to make sure. Oops, shit. Nope. I meant to do this and make sure my starters were in. I definitely don't want to be playing. Shit. I don't go right to town, Towns right up to the rim. Okay, I definitely don't want to be playing with Jeff Teague. So if I can get my starters in, that would be very nice. Towns got 18 and 14 on the night. Very impressive from him. Like just, I don't want to use Jeff Teague at all. Marcus Smart is in on RJ Hampton. 
Um, I definitely do want to use Culver a little bit. This is a Jarrett Culver rebuild. Uh, Jalen Brown over here is going to go. J Michael Green, is that who that was? Takes a three and misses it. Uh, Culver up here right now. I'm going to try to use him a little bit. We're going to try to use him. If Towns wants to do some sort of pick and roll action, it would be fine. Towns roll. Ro awesome. Um, great play, Massa. It's just it's unbelievable. Kyrie going to go right to the rack. And good defense there. He is going to get it to go, though. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Uh, so we're pretty much just waiting on Kevin Durant to get in the game right now. Um, that would be kind of – actually, no. Oh, it looks like John Collins fouled out because Ibaka is staying in the game because we don't have a sub for him. Um, Teague right back down to Towns, right into Culver. Fuck me, dude. I am so atrocious at this game. It is not even funny. All right, just can you give me Kevin Durant in the game, please? It would literally solve every issue known to mankind. All right, good defense. Uh, Abaka is going to be on Tatum. That's just not ideal. In the slightest, like in the slightest at all, Tatum mid-range jumper. Yeah, that one's going to go. Um, I'm taking a timeout just because I want Kevin Durant in the game. It, it makes logistical sense to get like one of the top three players in the world. I'm not getting into it right now. Into the basketball game. It, it really, really does. So uh, I'm going to make sure John Collins has fouled out. Uh, and yes, he has. So that's unfortunate, but we are going to get KD in, which is really what I wanted to do there. Um, KD on the night has 31 points. Absolutely insane. Definitely will take it. I hope he bounces back and makes a full recovery. It would really suck to not see a fully healthy Kevin Durant just because the type of specimen he is and the way he plays the game. Um, so let's hop right back here. Carl Anthony Towns, really? I don't know who the hell you are, but I'm going to go up and I'm going to get a contact layup. And one would have been nice. I did have a Baca open in the corner for a three. Uh, but I think I'll take the contact layup with Kate. That's a horrible release. That was my bad. I don't know releases. I don't really play my team too much or anything like that. So releases are not really my specialty. Second one is up, though, and it is good. So I think we're going to win this game. Ooh, Carson Edwards is in. Carson Edwards. I'm and also, I'm sorry, I'm not doing a Carson Edwards Celtics rebuild with Grant Williams. A, I did a Celtics rebuild about less than a week ago. There are 30 teams in the NBA. Oh, Grant Williams is actually in too. There are 30 teams in the NBA, and I try to do a vast majority of them in a month when I do, I mean, roughly 30 videos. Are, okay, that's horrible. Roughly 30 videos are out in the month during the summertime, and I try to get the majority of the teams, and I'm not going to do a team, even though it's my favorite team, twice in under a week. It just doesn't really make much sense. Might be a little boring as well to see Carson Edwards and Grant Williams in the starting lineup for the whole time. So, KD, I want to score with you once right into – okay, that's going to work for Towns. I'll see you guys at the finals MVP. So I'm just going to assume Kevin Durant, yeah, he does win finals MVP. Uh, only 22 points per game, but, hey, we ended up sweeping the Celtics, so cannot complain there. So Ryan Saunders will not be going anywhere. Um, I'm going to keep you along with the rest of our staff. You all did a pretty good job. I wish Ryan Saunders could get those ratings up a little bit, but, hey, man did win us a championship. So here in the draft, we do have the 30th overall pick in the second round. I did not mean to do that. Honestly, let's just see who's here. This is the 2021 draft class. Should be interesting. Anybody here? We have a 69 overall, which isn't that bad. We have 67. Uh, who's the highest overall? Oscar De Silva. Sure, man. You're not going to make the team, but I'll uh, I'll draft you. Welcome to the reigning NBA champions. Isaiah Todd, first overall pick. You're actually a 66 overall. Okay, you're not coming back. All these guys are going to come back, though. Uh, I'm honestly feeling really good about this team. John Collins is a free agent. I might look to spice it up a little bit and potentially maybe move somebody like a John Collins. Actually, you know what I'm going to do, what you guys have told me to do, are wait until after um, the moratorium phase is over to sign guys because then they definitely don't get their qualifying offer or do this and match the deal just because then they don't get uh, their qualifying offer and then I don't have to go out and trade them. So John Collins is on this team. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to – I don't know why this game is taking so long to load. I wouldn't be opposed to maybe seeing what sort of offers I could get for him. Him and two lottery uh, protected first round picks, just because you know what we gotta get do get him a decent amount. Spicing it up a little bit might not be too bad. Oh, De'Aaron Fox, I want me some De'Aaron Fox. Pascal Siakam is here. I feel like that's kind of a lateral move. Tobias Harris is also here. All right, the only way I'd really get De'Aaron Fox is if I could maybe get something good for R.J. Hampton. Um, that would obviously have to be a big man. John Morant is here. Okay, um, I might do that anyways. Wiseman's here as well. You know what? Screw it. Give me some John Morant. Give me some John Morant. I, I know I said I don't really like getting prospects from the same rookie draft class, but John Morant's unbelievable, so I'm going to do that. Also, really not feeling the Jeff Teague option as a backup point guard anymore, so if I could just get a different backup guard, that would be very, very good. Uh, I would definitely would not mind that in the slightest. So, of course, I don't really get any offered any good point guard except for Shabazz Napier, who I don't really want. So I believe he's making $10 million. So we'll slide this down to around $10 million annually, and we should hopefully find somebody pretty decent. Obviously, free agents 
are going to be here still. Um, like a Shy Gilgus Alexander, if you could afford it. I don't know if they will be able to. Yeah, they're going to take three million more. Um, anybody here getting overpaid? Like a Moses Moody? You have serious trade value. Yeah, this is just not going to happen. Dennis Smith Jr. is a free agent. Derek White. Kobe White is here again. Could I trade back? No, there's no way. Uh, LaMelo Ball, Schroeder, Cole Anthony, Theo Malden. You know what? If I can take that Pat Beverly defense, I'm gonna pretty much do it every day of the week. They agree to that trade. Hey, I'm I'm definitely not complaining. I'll take Patrick Beverly over Jeff Teague any day of the week. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final year. So third and final year, that's what the rotation is gonna look like. Some people might not be too happy about the John Morant trade, but him and Culver in a backcourt would be absolutely ridiculous. KD still at our small four position. John Collins and Carl Anthony Towns do finish our starting five off the bench. Sergio Vaca. Bruno Fernando, Pat Beverly, and Josh Okogie. As you can see, Culver has been the main scoring option the whole video. Kevin Durant's obviously still going to average more points than them, though. Uh, not much I can do about that. So I'm feeling pretty good about this team. Hopefully we can repeat, and I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final year. What the actual fuck? I I did not override this. Um, hopefully I remembered to maybe include the stats, or not the stats, excuse me. Hopefully I remember to include the footage before this. I did not override that. I, oh shit, I really shouldn't have traded RJ Hampton, but I did not override that. So I don't really know what happened there. Uh, I'll try to include a few seconds before it to prove I didn't override it, but RJ, or John Morant won MVP. Holy shit. We went 72 and 10. So really good year. Evan Mobley, rookie of the year. Deontay Murray, six man. Giannis, RJ Hampton. Yeah, that one sucks. Ryan Saunders does get coach of the year. I don't know how John Morant won MVP. I'm not complaining. Uh, and anyway, wow, 49 wins, got the one seed in the East. I'm not complaining in any way, shape, or form, but it's very surprising. I mean, he was our fourth leading scorer. Four to, almost 15 assists, though. I mean, still unbelievable. But KD, Towns, Culver, Morant, Collins, Ibaka. Um, I'm feeling really good about this team now. I'm not going to hop in and get any more gameplay because we already did hop in once. No point in doing it again. Um, so hopefully we can just sweep through pretty much everybody. I mean, we have the MVP and he was our fourth leading score. I mean, almost 15 assists tonight is fucking unbelievable. Don't get me wrong. And I respect it, but I don't think he should have won MVP. I mean, it's, it said RJ Hampton and, um, what Donovan Mitchell were scoring like 28, 29 points a game. It's a little crazy. Uh, we end up getting by New Orleans and five Houston, Houston Rockets and us here in the West Finals. Detroit and Atlanta over there in the East. Interesting matchup. I mean, not so much for Atlanta. They're probably going to be a top four seed in the East in the next two, three, four years. So um, it's going to be us and them. NBA Finals 2021 season. We're going to go on to sweep them. And John Morant, oh my God, Finals MVP. So I'm pretty happy I traded for him. Um, some of you might not have approved of it, but... It is what it is. It happens. This was the Jarrett Culver Timberwolves rebuild. So I'm going to take a few days off now from doing prospect rebuilds as I have done pretty much, I think, like six of them in a row now. Maybe a little bit less, but they do get a little bit repetitive. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. If you guys do, make sure to subscribe. Let me know any other video ideas down below in the comment section as I will be looking for some. I think the winning every award video will probably come out tomorrow. So if you guys do want to see that, feel free to let me know down below in the comment section along with any other video ideas. Uh, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Almost at 23,000. I cannot thank you guys all enough. Go follow me on Twitter as well. Links in the description as always. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, all your support, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.